Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Art of Testing. I am Rohit Agrawal and today we will be discussing a very key foundation stone of software testing which is test strategy. Now test strategy is basically defined not only on a project level but more so on an organizational level where a high level document is being presented by the project manager to identify the various testing approaches that would be done and what is the uh, automation tools or resources that are present to the organization and what is the manual resource bandwidth that is present for doing the testing. So it's basically on a high level test strategy document which is presented by the project manager and it is a bigger set, a bigger set of all the resources including manual resources, automation resources, automation tools, techniques that are available to the team to perform the testing task. Now in this document, the project manager defines that what is the scope and overview of the testing team that needs to do the testing. What is the test approach that would be taken in the testing? So it can again be derived from the tools that are available at the team's exposure and the team's expertise that is present with that organization. He also defines the entry criteria. The document also defines the entry criteria into the testing, uh, into a testing domain for that particular build. What is the success matrix? How we would know that there is a success matrix? What is the mode of communication? at what interval the communication needs to be done and the release management part so uh, like uh, in this uh, when the release is when the when we have that test strategy so what would be the release deployment or management aspect that would be following in the team what would be the review process and what would be the approval process so based on that only the reviews and approvals are done now you would know that every company would have their own process of reviews, approvals. Some teams require, requires, some companies basically requires peers review, then they also require managers review. So based on this, the test strategy document actually captures all those things. Now in the, in the, in the, in the test strategy document also, they also define that for the non-functional testing aspects, what all things needs to be done. So everything is detailed in this test strategy document. Now let us also understand that in a test strategy document, what are all the key points or thumbnails that are taken into account. So the various fields that are part of a test strategy document is first the test strategy ID. The second is introduction, which actually captures a brief introduction about the purpose of that document. Test strategy ID is an identifier, a unique identifier that actually identifies the test strategy document and its various versions. Now standards of use that the different guidelines that needs to be followed by the testing team in testing any component of that company. The risks and mitigations. So the different risks that are associated with testing and their mitigation strategies. So if we encounter any kind of risks, how to mitigate that and when to raise our finger saying that it's a road blocker. The entry criteria, the set of prerequisites that are must to be performed before testing can start actually. The exit criteria, the criteria is defined when the testing can be stopped. So if we, if we have to define like when we have to start the testing, when we have to stop the testing, the test design techniques. So what are the different design techniques to be used like boundary value testing, equivalence testing, all those things are defined in the test te design techniques. The most important part, the test environment. So on what environment, environment, sorry, uh, on what environment will the testing be done? The configuration management of the test fair. This is basically the specifications of the right version of the test fair for testing. The next is test process improvement, the approaches to use for improving the test processes. So this gives enhancing, this 
test process improvement always keeps enhancing and it's a thing that we keep learning and improving the next and the last thing is the approvals the person approving the test strategy document so whenever the strategy document is created it needs to go through the approval phase so that all the stakeholders are in sync of what is that test strategy that we as an organization are going to follow i hope i i was able to make you understand what is test strategy and for more such videos keep watching our channel and subscribe to our channel in our upcoming videos we'll also talk about test plan and test cases so till then happy testing guys